Louisiana lawmakers are heading back to Baton Rouge in just four days for a veto session. They're going to attempt to override the governor's rejection of a number of controversial bills. Paul Murphy reports. The Louisiana legislature will gather at the state capitol next week for a veto session. Lawmakers can ask for a vote to override any of the 28 bills rejected by Governor John Bell Edwards this year. That includes bills that would ban gender-affirming health care for transgender children and teenagers, and Louisiana's version of Don't Say Gay legislation. Senator Beth Mizell, a Republican from Washington Parish, supported both bills and says she plans to vote to override the governor's vetoes. I feel no pressure from the party whatsoever. I feel pressure from constituents who write me by the dozens every day uh, with the expectation that we're going to protect the children of Louisiana. Senator Royce DePlessis, a New Orleans Democrat, warns letting bills become law that target the LGBTQ community could cost the state jobs and future major sporting events. We're not going to let that taint the image of New Orleans. We're going to continue to make ourselves attractive to conventions and things like the Super Bowl, which is scheduled to come in 2025. Representative Joe Marino, an independent from Gretna, says the veto session is not necessary. I don't intend to change any of my votes, and I voted, you know, with the governor. I voted against those bills. The veto session is expected to convene at noon next Tuesday. And these culture war bills are great for political uh, partisanship and division. You know, it, it, they, they divide us and they do not unite us. We're a majority. Republican legislative body, and I think our voices were very loud uh, during session when we voted for that, and I, I believe uh, most of us uh, feel that we need to affirm that vote that we took. It just sends a terrible message to the people of Louisiana. It sends a terrible message to people across the country, quite quite frankly, because we're, we're really going backwards. This is not the issue that we should be focused on. This is only the third veto session since 1974. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Lawmakers can bring up any vetoed item for an override, but it will take a two-thirds vote in both chambers to override anything. That would be 70 votes in the House and 26 votes in the Senate. The veto session can last no longer than five days. It's now set to adjourn by the end of the day on July 22nd.